Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about autoimmunity. Autoimmunity in simple words is when immune system of an organism reacts against its own healthy cells and tissues. Self proteins, cells and tissues are attacked by some component of immune system. Thus, this leads to autoimmune diseases. There are two types of autoimmune diseases. Organ specific, system specific. Organ specific autoimmune disease usually targets a particular organ or a gland. So you have a narrow range of target. System specific autoimmune disease are also known as systemic autoimmune disease. These attack a system and thus has a broad range of target area. Each type has a lot of examples. So, the examples of organ specific autoimmune disease are Hashimoto's thyroiditis, type 1 diabetes mellitus, which is insulin dependent diabetes, Good Pastures syndrome, autoimmune anemia, myasthenia gravis, Graves disease. Out of these, the first four are mediated by direct cellular damage. And Fifth and sixth are mediated by either blocking or stimulating autoantibodies. System specific diseases are SLE, systemic lupus erythromatosis, multiple sclerosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. There is no specific way of its mediation, more generalized way of mechanism is in system specific diseases. Let me explain you the mechanism of direct cellular damage. Suppose we have an organ, thyroid. This cell, which is a thyroid self cell, its membrane has certain proteins, which are cell membrane proteins. But in this case, those self proteins become cell membrane antigen. Since it is an antigen, either a lymphocyte or an antibody will come and attack this antigen. After antibody attacks the cell membrane antigen, cellular lysis or inflammatory response of that particular organ shows up. After which the damaged cellular structure is replaced by connective tissue. Now an organ instead of its own cell cells, connective tissue cannot function. So what happens? Its function declines. That is direct cellular damage.
Now let me explain you how organ autoimmune disease is mediated by either by blocking autoantibody or stimulating autoantibody. So here we have stimulating blocking antibodies here stimulating autoantibody. I have a cell here and we have a hormone receptor on that cell. An antibody which acts as an agonist. It will act like an hormone. Thus, it will stimulate the activity of that particular cell. What happens next? Overproduction of that hormone or we have increase in cell growth. Blocking antibody. I have the same cell, same hormone receptor, but I have autoantibody which acts as antagonist and it blocks the receptor function. If it is blocked, the hormone won't be secreted or it will secrete in less quantity and thus there will be gradual atrophy of that organ. So this is by blocking or stimulating autoantibody. So organ specific autoantibodies had two mechanisms or mediations for their function. Systemic autoimmune diseases have a generalized mechanism. In systemic autoimmune disease, we have broad range of target antigens. Lots of cells, lots of tissues are involved in this disease. So, in a particular case of systemic autoimmune disease, the organism's immune regulation is defective. This leads to hyperactive T cells and B cells. These damages the organism such that tissue damages widespread. So, this is how systemic autoimmune diseases work. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do share and subscribe. Bye-bye.